Yeah. What are we doing for? Should we do this? December 2nd. Oh, is it on? Yeah. It's on. And I know how to work this thing. Hi, I'm Lars. Um, Metallica. What? It's good. Good start. It's accurate so far? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's December 2nd. That's accurate, right? 10.49 in the... the third. Thirty. What? No, it's not the third. Mine says thirty-first. That's screwy. Oh yeah, that's screwy. It's a free watch. Uh, ten. No, twelve forty-nine in the PM. That's a Pacific Standard Time, right? That's accurate, right? So it's all good, right? Uh, all right, there you go. We'll see you later. Take care. Uh, there'll be more updates soon. Nice one. Oh yeah. By the way, we're trying out bass players. Okay, bye. <laughs> all right, that's good. All right. Yeah, we had. Should we talk more about it? We had one in last week. We're having another one in this week, and then another one the next, and the next, and we'll see how many weeks it takes. So we're entertaining bass players. Entertaining them. And they're entertaining <laughs> us, hopefully. <laughs> we were entertaining the thought of getting bass players, and now we're actually doing it. And they're entertaining us with their chops, and we're entertaining them with our psycho babble. Yes. Right? I like that. That's good. Yeah. We're convincing them that we're well, we got our shit together. I suppose, and, our, and, and ourselves. I, I suppose. I suppose now you want names, right? Okay. Guess who the new well, bass player is. Guess so, who the new uh, bass player is. Guess who the new bass player is. First guy who came in through the door was the next guy who's coming on Thursday. His name is and the third guy is uh, is Rudy Sarso. Yeah. Right. Neil Murray, Neil Murray. So brother of Dave Murray the, from the Iron Maiden. actor guy, too. And then Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Right? And, uh, and then, um... So we're not going to get any names, do we got any numbers? You just got some. And then yeah. Gary... Gary here, here, here's one for you. Here's a trivia one. And then Gary Thane from Uriah Heep. Yeah. All right. Let's see if anybody spots the inaccuracy in that one. Uh, he um, was in Rainbow. That was Bob Daisley. No, no it was Let's Gary Thane. Butler showing it. Rainbow is on stage. Good. 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 Alright, so now everybody thinks that we're just being stupid, right? Yeah. Which we are. <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of uh, uncomfortable. We want people to know that we're trying bass players up, but we don't want people to freak out and know. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what I mean. Don't you? Well, I think I part know. of the reason for Sir's Note, part of the reason that there was a lack of updates last week on the ITS board was that... um. To be honest with you, we were kind of um, a little sure about how to handle this because Nicholas didn't want to put, you know, it's Monday morning and they're down there auditioning bass players um, and it, because we didn't want to, like, lie. Um, no, wait, that came out the wrong. But, but the opposite, <laughs> it, that was just another normal day at, at HQ, excuse me, <coughs> at the Metal Factory. And um, so... Um, that was sort of going on for uh, a couple days last week, and we didn't really know because obviously out of respect to the people who have come through the door, um, we don't feel that it's our um, place to break that news who they are, but we don't want to, you know, basically uh, part of the reason for lack of updates was that that was kind of going on, and we didn't really know how to um, handle that. So there it go, cat's out of the bag. Right. So the new... Bass when player. the guy from Styx shows up. Mm. <laughs> anyway. I'll tell you guys. No, nothing. I'll tell him who the new bass player is. New bass player is Neil Pert. Why can't you be serious for a second? Why do you always have to be so silly? Do, you, I'm, do I look like I'm being silly? He plays drums. Someone He's better tell him that. He's a really good drummer. <laughs> we don't need a drummer. We got one. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. That made me feel I'll all tell you who he is soon. <laughs> um, ah! Thanks, James. So we also had... Um, Can you tell me too who he is? <laughs> the drummer? <laughs> Come on, girls. Yeah. Um, so We're we all, excited. Uh, we are excited jamming with people, getting a vibe with them. The vibe is most important. You know? We know the people we've got on our list can play. And it's a very important that we... we our personalities vibe and that this person is going to be around for a long time. We don't want we don't want just someone coming in and then being gone and you know 
We don't like the revolving right. door. We don't syndrome. want rent a bass player. We don't want mercenaries. We want somebody that we can um, fourth member be proud to say to you guys and to the rest of the universe that this guy's in Metallic and he's a brother, and um, he's part of the team. And not only or sister, sister of course, and um, and also somebody who's can give us some strength, you know, and um, depending on the sexual status. <laughs> okay. Try to be all serious. Okay. Because somebody who can give us some strength, right, and help us when we have yeah. to reintroduce ourselves. We need strength. What? I'm serious. Don't we need know. strength, man. We need someone. Yeah. Who someone who <laughs> can add a dimension, not just kind of hang add. out. <laughs> someone who, someone who can add, not just subtract. Okay, bye. <laughs> and uh, wait, wait. Anything else? Really? Well, today's Monday. The new, right? the new bass player. Is uh is, is uh called Jimmy Bain. Stop, you know, big people don't even know who Jimmy Bain is. Really? So there was a post over the weekend. I was checking it last night. God was talking about Les Claypool, and then like who's that? dude went like, "Who's Les Claypool?" Sure, sir. Um, other sure, than sir. that, the um the the metal's uh, alive and well here on the Metal Factory. We had four days off over Thanksgiving. So that was nice. And uh, I've got uh, two weeks here, and we're going to metal it out. Right? Super. Super metal it out. You know, one day we're going to come up with newer and different ways to say the same shit, right? Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? I'm oh, just, you know, making metal at the metal factory. We're having recording sessions. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? We're having recording sessions. Don't bother us. What are you um, doing? We're having recording bass player sessions. Don't bother. Well, there are actually some. There are some cool things. I mean, what have we got? Seven songs now that we feel are seven. Eight, eight triple pluses. Yeah, seven uh, is a good number. So we got um, a couple more on that. So we're up to seven now. Um, I'm Peter and Killer. Peter and Cliff, our managers, are coming out tomorrow, and we've started talking about um, next year and started looking at um, some different ideas about touring, and. Um, some starting to put some dates in some calendar grids for next year, which is part of the reason that we have started the bass player thing. We ain't going to do a lot of touring without a proper bass player. And we kind of realized that if we were going to um, not start the bass player thing till the record was done, we might end up in the situation like we usually do where there's three weeks between the end of the record and the beginning of the tour. And then you might end up in a really stupid um, pressure situation. We're trying to get some guy, and you don't have a lot of time. That's why we started now. And um, and that's it. We're having the um, HQ bowling party on Thursday, right? Boy, I can't wait for that. And I bowled. I, I went sneak practicing on on Saturday, and I bowled a 132, which is good, right? That's very good. That's good. That's very good. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. Was right? that your average, or was that your high game? Well, I don't have an average because I don't actually bowl. Mm. So, um, that was what I did. Who's but the I, bass player of Raven? John Gallagher. Okay. Is he related to Liam and Noel? I don't know, but John Gallagher is not the guy who's going to be our bass player. He's not, you know, just be sincere. Can you be sincere? How sincere, sincere was that? That was very sincere. I gave them a truth amidst all this Stop fucking such a crap. a drama queen all the time and acting... It was like kind of like it's always like he's on when the camera's on. It's like he become he, it's like he you know drama queen, right? Stop acting. Just be. Am I the one who like cries for the camera, on cue? Tell me, am I? What are you? No, I'm not. And that's all I'm saying. So just to go back to the bass player, how long would it? When did you guys start talking about it? How long? Nineteen eighty-six. Stop being. That's a truth. You're so insincere all the time. How is that insincere? I just mean good time around. You was, gotta be more specific. It was, guys, time it was two weeks ago. Okay, okay, here's what happened. I'll give you the short version of the story. We were looking at some t shirt designs. No, some t shirt, um, some artwork for some t shirt things. And on one of them was a kind of a, a tattoo kind of a thing. And it had uh, three cards on it. And it had L U, J H, and K H on it. And we were sitting there. Around that table over there, and we were like, "Is it kind of silly to have like all this merchandise with just the three of us?" 
And then we started talking about bass players, and the whole thing was, you know, it sort of just, it opened up this whole big thing, because we have specifically wanted to keep the bass player thing uh, off the agenda till the record was over. And then we realized we might shoot ourselves in the foot, so we um, started talking about it, and now a bunch of cats are coming in and auditioning. There you go. No, not auditioning. What? That's stupid. We're not doing like cattle call auditions. We got um, some guys that are coming in um, that we, we know all of them. And like James was saying, it's not particularly, you know, they can all do the gig in terms of the ability. It's more about like what the vibe is. And if they can hang with us in a timely fashion. And if we can hang with them. Yes. It's a two-way street. In a street. timely fashion. Right? Yeah. There's a two-way street, right? Basically, we need to find out if they're as pimp as we are. The bottom line. Be so sincere. How much more sincere can I be? <coughs> okay, so another question. We won't obviously get names of these people until you guys are comfortable with uh, Well, I, to person. me, it's, it's not even... I mean, I, look, I have no problems telling you. I'm not keeping any secrets. I just don't think it's fair to them. Okay. I'll tell you. If they want to... What, are you going to come up with some like, other cheesy 70s bass player guy now that nobody knows about? No, I just, let me finish what I was saying. I tell you, it's not, it's not right and it's not fair for any, any of us to disclose who those bass players are because that puts undue pressure on them in somehow, some way. And also, we don't want to like fill or give more fuel to the rumor mill because I'm sure that any, anyone we name will, will be seen as a reflection on us and, and what we're doing at this moment. And uh, I don't want any of that. Can you tell us uh, how many you guys are, um, how many people on the